There's one very big catch here, and that is that street vendors like the one behind me have to decide they want to sell new menu items. If they don't, we're stuck with the same old, same old. When it comes to street food choices in Toronto right now, there's really no choice at all. They should have more um, variety out there. Yet judging by the lineup at this food festival outside City Hall, choice is the hottest thing on the menu. That's why City Council has loosened the rules on hot dog vendors, allowing them to sell more than just street meat. We feel that um, the expertise lies in the industry and they know what's best for their carts. The new rules allow vendors to sell fruits and vegetables, bagels, prepackaged seeds, nuts and salads, veggie burgers and even coffee and tea. When you consider that uh, they're trying to get people to eat more healthier, it's a good thing. With public health approval, vendors can even take it a step further. What's your best seller? My, uh, well, you know what, my jerk chicken. Uh, jerk chicken with the coconut spread and the um, uh, sautéed onions. It just flies out of here. Marianne Moroni has cranked up the menu at her hot dog stand. It's worked for her, but she's not so sure other vendors will follow suit. There's a lot of reluctance from the vendors at the moment because they see so many issues. The biggest limitation is that the new rules only apply to existing vendors, so if they don't change their menus, Torontonians won't see any new choices. So the best hope for more choice? Consumer demand. The city is still working to find a way to allow more vendors and food trucks on city streets. I know there's a day where our street food will rival any, you know, in the world. We're just unfortunately taking baby steps. But permitting remains the big challenge here. The city right now trying to find a way to allow for not only more street vendors, but also a place to park those food trucks. That's something they're trying to develop right now. Worth pointing out, there is a bit of concern from the restaurant industry about a loss of business. But at the same time, that food cart you saw featured in the story there, that owner had actually partnered with the restaurant industry and business was working quite well for both of them.